We're here in the booth at the scene of the great presidential campaign debate of 1976, the Great Debate. And President Gerald Ford is just now entering the studio. Let's switch to our only floor reporter. Mr. Ford, when we hear hail to the chief, should we be standing? Oh, really? Could you be more specific? There seems to be a commotion outside, Mr. President. What is it? Someone knocking at the door. It appears to be Jimmy Carter, Mr. President. Uh, what do you want us to do? And now, back to the book. With me now is Eugene McCarthy. Former Senator, what did you tell the League of Women Voters when they didn't include you in this debate? And what did they say to you? Thank you, former Senator. But just now entering the booth is former Georgia Governor Lester Maddox. If you're not elected president and return to your fried chicken restaurant, what will you serve? The disco Quickly now, back to our only floor reporter who is with the challenger, Jimmy Carter. Governor Carter, what is your message to the American people? You'll never find another love like mine. And if you win in November, Mr. Carter, will you still want the Marine Corps band to play Hail to the Chief? Just let me hear some of the rock and roll music. You seem to have a great deal of confidence, Mr. Carter. Just how strong do you think you are? Senator Robert Dahl, what did President Ford tell you when he selected you as his running mate? But uh, what did he tell Vice President Rockefeller? Let's just kiss, say goodbye. Now, one quick question for the Walter Mondale. Senator, you and Jimmy Carter have been accused of not being perfectly clear, uh, if you'll pardon the expression, on any issue. So, what do you really think of the tax structure? <laughs> How about defense? <laughs> Wayne Hayes and Elizabeth Ray are here, surely a topic for November. What did you tell your secretary, Mr. Hayes, when you first hired her? I'm easy. I see. But do you have any advice for freshman congressmen? And Ms. Ray, now that your book is selling so well, would you work for the government again? That'll be the day. One more quickie question for both of you. How would you characterize your years together in Congress? Afternoon delight. Right now, there seems to be activity on the floor. Come in, only floor reporter. This is unprecedented. Gerald Ford has just given the Jimmy Carter a presidential order to replace the Marine Corps band that playing Hail to the Chief. Let's get our microphone to the president as he tells Governor Carter. Well, I'm 